Hey, 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 Fox Den Hunts here. Welcome to what? Age of Wonders Planetfall. So sit back, relax, grab a snack, and don't forget. Give me one of the other screens. So I decided. I don't even remember the last time we played this. We did Age of Wonders 3 uh, live streamed and on our channel once in, in Blue Moon a long time ago. But it's time to play some Age of Wonders Planetfall. I've had this itch. And when I loaded up this game for the first time in about a year, it has found a new empire. So we're going to be doing that today. If this is a long custom creation, you'll find it at the end of this episode. If it's not, you'll find it right now. So, yeah, enjoy. So sit back and let's found our new empire of age of Wonders Planetfall. Greetings, Amazon sister. You have used your bioengineering skills to adapt and survive on distant worlds. The collapse of the Union has freed you from ancient dogma and the slow-moving process of evolution. You have shaped your bodies, society, and environment to meet your own needs and ideals. But no, there are no universal truths. May your sisterhood create a brighter future for all on this world. Okay, let's get to it. Let's start the game. Here we coming in on our planet. Welcome, Commander. I am Ava, your autonomous integrated virtual assistant. Standard issue for every planetary governor of the Star Union. Okay. My messages will appear when important actions are undertaken for the first time. They can be reviewed at any time in the Imperial Archives. Yeah, sure, we'll do help messages. Alright. So we are in the Nafanjal. Nafanjal HQ. Alright. Hey! These are Marauder Guards. There's the penguins. In a location of value. They will remain there. This is the unit panel where all units can have different roles. Killer penguins, you guys. Killer penguins. And then Echoes of Despair. Bear. This is an army belonging to an NPC faction, a group of sentient beings native. Okay, and we have the Psy fish next to us. Interesting. Uh, you're spawned. Does that mean you evolve? Yes, metamorphosis. That means they evolve. Alright, so if you've played Age of One Night of Wonders, um, Endless Space or any of those games, Endless Legends, this will definitely feel more at home for you, all of you. You have your base screen, this is a strategic mode where you can plan your expanses. This we have one border that is em that we can't pass. It's a giant mountain, the morning peaks. You can do water. And it looks like we have a lot of food to the north, which is really good, actually really good. And there's electronic booster plane, so that's a lot of energy. And then science here. That that is a decent start. The uh, research station, because there's more science if we occupy that. This will give us a lot more food. Okay. And we have This is an army. Armies contain up to six units on a single hex to move an army. So armies with multiple units. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank you. We, uh, we, we got penguins. We got penguins in our own army. Oh, look at that. So cute. And then we have an Amazon strike. Basically, pterodactyl. Here's our army. We have a light bringer. You're not an Amazon, but you're really cool. This is our biomancer. These are the base ant hunters, our base units. This is our support unit. And then we have our own shrike. I already have one flyer. I think I might switch, have them go explore. Our one -time collect All right, so what do I want to do? I think I want to... 
Move you to pick this up. Sweet. Okay, so we got the materials. At the greater greens. No, I want this the city. The colony interface. Under this colony, the okay. currently selected colony path. Yep. So we make 80 uh five production. We do get 26 overflow from picking that up. This is the structure. Thank you. So let's see. I can start building units. I can't do a colonizer because I need to be bigger. I could start a production. So each city has a main core. It's a central structure. I think for our home city, since this is going to be food, and it might be a while before we can get some good production going, I definitely want to get the central replicator factory going. Units and structures can be built in a... And that, that will have some overflow, so it'll be done in one turn. Actually, it's not going to have much overflow at all. That's actually really good, picking up that. So that means we'll get some good production to begin the game. I love this. Since I do have you, I really do want to send you out to explore. And you can fly over mountains? So let's do that. I love the little flappy sounds. Ooh, exploration site DNA. Grants 10 research and 10 food to the colonies linked to. Bi Biological and cyborg units built in the linked colony gain five extra health. Oh, that's that's a really good pickup. Got All right. Let's see. Heavy laser applications. Fire shows actions available during the current turn. Lasers are fast. Oh, I I have this free tech. No bloody mess. Just the delicious smell of fried bacon. Nice. Mark Mc. And Verdant this Awakening? Is our first oh. We will protect her. Intelligent use we'll of the wood and local material allows. Your colonies gain each and gain ten production for every four sector. We vow to improve the land we occupy. Oh, I shall let them talk. Better than how we first encountered it. <sighs> Galnidra Orlandis, environmental activist. I love that. I should have listened to that instead of talking over it. Um, so every force gives us 10 production. Deduction operating cost. Right, ecological warfare. Train your soldiers and techniques to extract chemicals from local plants. Your units, melee and biological attacks, have a strength 8 chance to apply poison to biological and cyber units. That's really good. I do have a force tile already here. This d this doesn't, but has for top plane of fungal. This does have force though. So if I have the Meridian forced, ah, it has force in the name. Yeah, you can see. Oh my god, look how beautiful this is. It definitely feels alien. And there's that city. Well, it's a plant. And you have this cute little thing. And there's buggies here. So I think I want to use this guy, which has a strength of 815. 340. And this has strength of 340. I think I'm going to go and attack this guy. Oh, you can still move. Oh, okay. Move. Planets are divided into geographical sectors. Thank you. Sectors usually to make your colonies thrive. Yes. So we need to call it. So if you go to that frontier, like if I went to the greater green, I can annex this sector from, it takes one turn. Link this sector to your colony, collect income, but we can build a forward base or we can found a new colony there. To claim, I think we need, yeah, you need extra colonists. So we need growth. It's going to take four turns to grow. And I think we're definitely going to go with short grass expands. I mean, it's even telling us that we should go here. This is giving us that plus 10 extra food, the fertile plains, and the fungal. All research and food sectors gain, on fungal gain plus one level. Fertile research plus food and food. So, yeah, that's going to be a huge food output. Oh, the side fish are here. Resource nodes are. And that's a resource node. Okay. Ah, this will just give us some influence. 
Sexy. All right, so this is the uplink. Oh, okay. Here you are able to purchase your selected requisitions. Oh, so this is my renown. I can purchase. Oh, this is my bountiful harvest. Each food specialization build grants you a substance. Oh, I get food specializations. I can get that. Destroy the penguin hives, and I'll get even more renown. Oh. I like how we have penguins. Operations available for toolkit. Strategic. So I could go here to get the extra production already. I and it'll start priming and that means I'll pick up in two turns. So we only it should actually be Oh we have two banked, that's why. Now I already use a doctrine start, but do I really want to use my doctrine to begin? Yes. Yes, I do. So that, again, that will give me that extra production going on. Then I say we start the fight. So we can start getting the short grass. So there's an imperial standard there. Oh, everyone will rank, get a level if they get, pick that up. Well, this is a shelter. Oh, people will join us. Uh, yes. So we'll move and then we will attack. So we're gonna allow, the Marauders are trembling in fear and they're ready to, trying to flee the battle. We could allow them to retreat and that'll make us, people will like us, we'll be good. So you, you do have impact. I will allow them to retreat. And I get the extra colonist here. The colonist tab lists details of the colony's growth and happiness. The colony's output can be fine-tuned by signing. All right, so I know everyone's just auto. We got some food, got some production, and we got so we can have eight maximum population of eighteen. So four turns till we get the next one. Our happiness is six. Colony center race relations. Okay, each person is too unhappiness. I can put some here. Yep, that's my food, my money. Shouldn't I be at five then? Oh, I can annex a sector. Yeah, I, I do want to annex this. So we can, we're gonna annex short grain grass for that, all that extra food. All rival commanders and yeah, so that's who we can see. NPC factions, we haven't actually made contact with the fishy, fishies yet. The objectives interface, the active victory in addition to regular quest. Yep, okay, so this is our objectives. The colony overview. Yeah, thank you. All right, so we have plus one sectors. Oh, each, okay, so we can get an extra, each city can have four extra sectors, which is fine. So if you go one, two, three, four, that'll be great, because then we'll have all four sectors. You can see our military. The unit's template manager interface. Oh. I can modify the penguins. I can modify the penguins. Must allow you to improve your unit. Well, they have nothing. But I can modify penguins. Oh, good lord. Can modify you? Nope. That's my colonizer, my shrike, and my light umbrainer. Interesting. All right, let's end our turn. I know commander. Have just annex the sector. And it can now be exploited for one of the main resources. Nice. All right. So I can build a colonizer now because I have an extra population. Or we can start building buildings. I think I actually want to annex, upgrade the sector. The sector production tab lists the structures that can be built in any of the province sectors of the colony. Yep. Thank you. So this will tell me the level it is, and when whatever the level is, it tell you how much food, 
per population and how much food it makes or energy. So because this has here you go, two food, it's going to get that plus uh, one to each. And then when I get that, it'll give me 10 extra food. But because it has the plus two, I get to level three already. That's good. It has no production, so it's only level one. I could do science, but again, we're not going to. As this has the food and gives us 15 of food if, if we have this as a food uh, expansion. So it'll be three turns till we get that food. Now, if I fight this guy, I will get this 10 food to begin with. I do want to send... I can pick this up. This guy out to explore. Visit sites are remnants of the Star Union that give a visiting army a boost. This can either be an instant effect or an effect that lasts... Oh, that's cool. And that was a hospital at one point. Oh my god. Traffic zone. This used to be a giant city. Look at that. So it's a hazard. So it's affected by a biochemical hazard. This is a big research one. But there's also food there. But I do look at that. Look at that ancient city that used to be here. I like how it's called the traffic zone. <gasps> oh, I find that funny. The Lurker Woods. Oh, hey, there's a supply cache. I think I definitely want to send this guy to pick up the food or whatever that supply might be. All right, so that's a vault, DNA vault. Atomic Algae Farms. Oh. So water, oh, that'd be a good food one. Now I might want to make it a secondary city like here instead. I like have this focus out. Strategy, thinking, how you want your empire to grow. Definitely makes you think. The beef bay. Huh. More forced. All right, let's take a, let's do the penguins. Let's fight the penguins. Alright. So this is our units against these guys. Uh, we're definitely going to do manual combat here. This is our first combat. Oh, I am, I'm enjoying this. I hope you guys are too. Ooh. Commanders can choose to lead battles themselves using the tactical combat system. Help miss no, I'm not going to do combat tutorial. We played Age of Wonders. I played this Age of Planetfall before. I think we got this. Okay, there's we. I could move up here. Lightly obscured. And I can't fire on anyone. I wonder what my range is. Hmm. Not sure, but if I move here, I would be obscured. And I can't move because I need all three movement to fire that. Oh, there's my range of the bolter. I will go defensive mode. So I can scan. All units of this type become scanned for three turns, giving them minus two resistance. Yeah, this is my support guy. Very strong. It's my bow. You can fire a flash arrow. That means they'll be stacked and blinded. Yeah, they're too far away. So if I move here. No, but I do have some cover. Yeah, I, I cannot get this guy close enough to do any of his attacks. The penguin could do a leap. Woo. Fun. That's my other bow. No cover here, but here I will have all the cover. So I will want to move to get as much cover as possible. I 
And with them, he has support. Penguins? I'll move here. See if I can make them attack me. Now I'll go defense mode to make it harder for them to attack. Okay, the penguins are moving up. And they're attacking the other penguins. Okay. Ooh, I'm staggered twice now. Stagger means you can't do as many movements. Alright. So I can attack three times with this. Or I can go flash arrow. And that means they would be staggered. And this guy would be blinded. Yes. Also, what Stagger does is means Overwatch, so they are, well, Overwatch. They can't attack us back. Nice. The Amazon will... I, have, I don't have line of sight. Oh. I can Overwatch, or I can snipe this guy for quite a bit of damage. Damn, nice. Move here. So yellow means I have less chance to hit. If I move here, I will have green. So that's good. I can only fire once. I can wait. I can oh I can do a kill with that. Or I can meteor swoop. Oh, I'll damage myself, though. No, let's do a claw. Oh, that might kill... I might get lucky and kill this guy? Hmm. There's no guarantees. This is a guaranteed kill, though. This isn't, but I'd rather do almost a guarantee kill. Enemy annihilated. I can do one, but I'm actually going to do a stagger again. That means they can only do one attack next turn. Then I'm going to heal the penguin for... It's back to full health. And I could launch a laser strike for cash, but I I, I want to save that. Wait, so let's end our turn. Ah, oh, you missed. Good, good. So you graze me, so I can attack you back. Yep, Overwatch triggered. And I got staggered. That means all the attack got. They missed. On Miss Gray, 75% chance, or, yeah. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Yes. You swoop down and do your damage. Ho ho ho! Instant kill there. So we'll do the bio blaster. Zelda Fox, you get the final kill. Victory Ooh. is ours. Bye, penguins. Units that survive a combat encounter gain experience based on the number of enemies that were defeated. So not bad. And we got eight food. And we got 49 food for taking this. That means you have 
we go to here. Nope. People, here we go. We have 70... We, we should have more food than that, because we took 49 food. Oh, we already gained the population, so it already grew. It already grew, because we got all that food. So we have someone making happiness. Or I can move them to, say, production. How do I move someone? Um, how do I move somebody? Oh, there you go. It's on auto. So I can move that person back. So positive events are really good, actually. Five chance about positive event, and no matter what I do, I can't change the production. You know, I'm actually going to keep that. I'll keep it on auto for a few seconds. Positive events will mean you get some type of city boost. Either production, science, all that good stuff. Ah, and the science tech tree is, on your second turn opens up the science. Welcome to the research center. Military research. Yeah. So you have military and science and society. So you get two resources going on at once. So this tells us yep, where the Amazons. If we have someone else, we can choose others as well. Game protective grounding will be actually really good. So this will open up this thing. An Orborean Sentinel. I kind of do want that. And I get Grounded Harness, which gives us stack resistance and some armor. That would be sexy. Yes. Society research. And now society. It's telling us it wants us to do frontier facilities, which will give us recreational domes. Upgrades our military. But this is extra happiness. And it lets us go into some development. So this will let us do some food. I think actually I need both. But this will let us upgrade the food sector by one. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. That's basically a standard start. A start. Okay, and you still have orders. So I think I'm gonna move this guy to get the signs next. Oh, look at the little broken down road. But look at our road connecting our two locations together. I wonder if this will let me talk to them. Sector annexed. Yep, and we got that sector. Okay, so we will end the turn. Yes, yeah, so we're going to end it here today, guys, so you can check out how we created the empire, because that's definitely in the back, because it took a little while. But, oh, I hope you guys are enjoying. I'm excited for this. This is going to be fun. I have a feeling this is going to be great. As we conquer Shepard on our way to Galactic Dominion for the Amazon race of the Foxden Empire. Till next time, late alligators. Peace. So we're literally creating a new empire to go out into the galaxy. All right, empire name. Um, Foxton. Colors. Orange and green, or should we go green and orange? Okay, symbol. All right. Let's see. I definitely want something that's like foxy. Definitely want something that's foxy. Um, okay, that, that works. That definitely works. Um, hmm. I think we're going with the fox. Yep, we're going to go with the fox. Okay, fox done. Empire description. Oh, good. Oh, wow. Um, rise of freedoms, videos, love, and foxiness. Yes. The fox den rose with the leadership of Zill and her adorable raven. 
Dor Dorbalical Raven, I think, yes. To lead the Foxies from the ashes of the fallen to their rightful place among the stars. Yay! Hey, look at that. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Um, after all that, create new empire. Okay, the star map. Star map displays the plans you have conquered. Oh, galactic empire. From here, you can continue conquest or embark on new tabs. Ah. Well, we haven't conquered anyone yet. So let's conquer a new world. Okay, from here you may choose a world to conquer. Each world has its own unique combined traits. Okay. Alright, so complexity is low. Agri world penguin hive? Those beaked villains got here first. Penguin hive are present. What the I don't know what, I, can, I can't check that. Okay, uh, Bountiful Harvest. It's an Agri World, so that's not bad. Okay, um, six players, Shepherd 2 0 is the planet. Oh, it's going. Uh, okay. You know, I, I like the penguins, and this is for Silo. We're going to have penguins. Game intensity is normal. Not doing hard. We're totally not doing hard just yet. Six players, that's fine. Normal, normal, advanced setup. Classic turns. Classic turns. Everyone plays the turn in order, one after another. Yes. Come back. Always ask, always ask. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Select our commander. Okay. So we gotta select our commander. Um. Wow, there is a lot of commanders. Oh, this is everyone that's in the library. Um, we are totally going to go custom. Customize. All right, who do we want to play as? Do we want to play as the Dwarves, the Kirko, the Syndicate, the Vanguard, Amazon? You know what? Since we're the Foxes, I think we definitely go with the Amazon. I think that just seems about right. Ooh, secret technology. Voidtech, Xenoplague, Celestian, Promethean, Sonoma, Synthesis, Voidtech, Echo Walker? Um, what are we? Are we Void people? No. Celestian? Are you Psionic? Promethean is just eradicate everything. Synthesis is AIs, which makes sense. <sighs> you know what? Let's go Celestian. Let's just, let's just do this. All right, so what is going to be our background? All right, actually, let's just clean all this out. So it starts with uh, zeros. So if we go veteran, uh, it's all recommend. That's recommend. Um, let's see. Are we a skilled diplomat? We have three points, so we can choose some. Or we can take advice and miss one. That's fine. All right. Let's see. Military detachment is a strong military force. You start with the game of a large starting army. That is not bad. You start with extra money. Random tax. One extra population and recreational don't. Ooh. You know, start with it, text might be nice. Or are we a Star Union Scholar? Not bad. Are we a skilled diplomat? Oh, uh, you know what? Let's. Yeah, we're a skilled diplomat. We are a skilled diplomat. Are we cruel? No. Oh, a party animal? Yes, we're animal. We are a party animal. Okay, that that's that just sets us up correctly. Uh, the free tech, yes. And 
and then we can have a support vehicle, an Amazon support vehicle. Uh, we can be a sniper. Ooh, Celestio Close Combat. I kind of like the sniper. Yes, I kind of want to go that. Then I'm going to go... Th oh, I still have two... I still have two points. I could not take a vice then. You know, that's going to be the case. I want to take a vice then. Okay, we'll just go this way. All right. Next. Okay, what we look like. Head. I can't do a foxy head. Oh. Young or old? Eh, you know, we'll go middle of the road. Skin decoration. Okay, can you like stop moving for a second? Good lord. Oh, there's a lot of customization. Oh, hello. Oh, this is if he's wearing anything. You know what? It's COVID. We're all wearing a mask. Hairstyle. Bald. No. Ooh, fancy smooth. This gives me Sora vibes. We're, we're definitely going to the store. From the last avatar. Eyebrows. Yep. Eyes. Oh, good lord. Oh. Well, that's... No. I mean, the white makes it celestial. Okay, dude, I can't see eyes. Uh, yeah, we'll go with this color. Ooh. No, we won't do any uh, skin decoration. Okay, body. Oh, hair color. I'll keep brown. A uh, torso. Oh, that's what he's gonna wear. Okay. Um. Okay. Ah. Okay, stop moving. Thank you. That's kind of badass. Ugh, I don't like that one. That seems very techy wise. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. If I go with all this, say. Cape, well, definitely no cape. Yeah, that's definitely techie. Um, head? Cowboy hat? A cowboy hat? A bubble? Oh, hey, definitely another face mask. Well, since we have that, we're not gonna... Since we have the mask, we're not gonna do a face mask. Oh, is it? Depending on earrings and stuff. Oh, that continues what he's wearing. Uh, for a sniper who's blind? No. That kind of makes sense. Definitely not an eye patch. Hey, I have glasses. Yep. Uh, you know what? Actually, that gives me Pavarti vibes, and I like that. Uh, legs? I kind of don't want that. Oh la la, look at those thighs. By the way, these are all women, I forgot to mention. So, yeah. Let's call them a he. It's a she. This is a she. Uh, no. Okay, we're gonna go with this. This is a she. Just, just so you know. Skin color. What is your skin color going to be? Yeah, you know, I'll leave it like that. Um, background. Oh, God, it's creepy. That is up in the sky. That's our, our city. 
So that's the backgrounds of your race. Um. We'll go with this. A uh, posture. Yeah, see, women. Now you can actually tell it's a woman. <sighs> so stand up tall. Feminine. I'm serious. You know, I I like this one. You don't know what's going to come at you. I like this. Okay. Now we need a name. Zell the Fox. That That's it? Okay, there we go. Okay, here you're able to select which requisitions to bring with you while you are conquering the next planet. These units' operations and modes will be available... For purchase with Imperial Renown. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, this is like an extra somebody. Oh, oh, and I take one operation. Oh, okay. Um, I don't know how much we now. How much we now do we even have? D does it even tell me how much we? Okay. I don't even know which one we should take. I don't honestly know which one. Oh, uh, you know what? I kind of like that. Operations. Oh. Oh. Oh, I can take more with more renown. Okay, so the first three are free then, I'm guessing. Shredder bombs are really nice. It just drops a bomb and destroys things. Okay, Shadow Bomb just does a lot of just a lot of damage. This does less, but can hit three people. This might only have one. You know, I, I kind of I like the Shredder Bomb. I like the idea of the Shredder Bomb. Mods, okay. So flash payload. Applies blind. That's actually kind of nice. Apply blind? Raven, get out of the sink. <laughs> she just hopped in the sink. Focus flames. No, I kind of like the flash playload. Blind people. Okay. 